If I meet me, it's content. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Gossi Africa. I'm a traveler and a YouTuber based in Kenya, Africa. We come in live from the beautiful escarpments of my Mayu. So we are uh, inside the Rift Valley. Yeah, very beautiful place. It's giving the village vibes. You can see the green environment. Those are avocado trees. I don't know how you call avocado in your, in your place. But avocado is English, I mean. I understand. So it's a beautiful place. And I thought, why not catch up with my community? So this place reminds me of times when uh, those times when um, we could wake up in the village and here to perform some yeah, morning duties early in the morning and uh, you can hear some sounds from the birds yeah very natural sounds no factories around so the air you breathing at this uh, you're breathing at this place, very fresh, yeah. Damn, I miss this. I miss village life. So, when, as a kid, when, once you are done with performing your morning duties, make sure that if the, the cows, the, the animals, uh, where they residing at, they are, it's clean. So now you went out there to play soccer with the boys, ride bicycles, yeah. You go hunting. We, I used to hunt a lot. You go hiking. I, I I grew up in a place whereby we have a mountain. Not a mountain, a hill. So you guys, we could go up the mountain, yeah, where we did the hunting. I love I love that going fetching water with the donkeys. Say donkeys or donkey. Yeah. It all depends with where you were <laughs> the school you attended and maybe where you're watching from. If it's US, you pronounce it different from someone in the UK. Yeah. That's a bird. Can you see the bird? Let me see whether I can zoom. No, I'm not in a position to zoom it. Most dwellers of this place are the Maasai community, the Maasai people. So at some point, I'll be going to the river probably at this time. Uh, they'll be bringing their cattle of that side. I need to have some interaction with them. So. What kind of questions do you expect to get from the Maasai? Like, these guys are pastoralists. How do they access food from this place? It's a jungle. Yeah, they don't do crop farming, so they rear animals only. Do they eat meat all around the here? Do they ever interact with other communities? Probably you wanted to marry a Maasai lady. What are the procedures? What are the requirements? Uh, from the books, we have been learning that the Maasai people never build permanent houses. Did they start building permanent houses? Yeah, who builds their houses? Someone told me their ladies build houses. I can't imagine a lady <laughs> building a house. So I really need to know. Why is it that their ladies are the ones to build houses for a man? Yeah, I believe from where I come from, men are the strongest people. So it's their responsibility to make sure their families are safe. So they were the ones to build houses for their families. Yeah, why is it different in this community? I need to know whether these people started going to school. Do they go to school? Or they are educated by 
they are elders and that's all yeah we have the social learning whereby someone can be educated how to look after the cattle how to do butter trade how to yeah how to negotiate in time uh, in times of marriage how to uh how, how to treat their cattle in case they are <laughs> they are sick and how to make those herbal medicine in case you get sick yeah someone told me that they don't go to hospital so they treat themselves we need to know about that sun just came out it's somewhere it's almost above my head so um it's very early in the morning it's about 10 a.m 10 in the morning so i'm yet i just woke up very late i've been uh traveling yesterday you know i did a video about gong gong is the uh, one of the b biggest hills we have in kenya in kajado county so now we are in Naro county yeah Naro county just next to kajado the genesis of kenya have gone to the streets and demanded for their rights they have even gone to the extent of telling the prime minister not to come out to stay at his house this is someone who has been fighting for our rights now they have uh, claimed they the ones to go to the streets and demand for their rights not to finance bill but that's not my discussion today so i want us to talk about trinidad and Tobago, my favorite country. I know you know that. I've been doing more content about Trinidad and Tobago. So leave a comment whether you know Trinidad or Tobago. Meanwhile, I have my friend here and I, and I want him to comment about the same, whether you know the country, you know about Trinidad and Tobago. To start by introducing yourself, probably. Well, my name is Juma. Yeah. Okay, Trinidad and Tobago is an island that I've heard of sometimes ago, but long history of it, I don't really don't know much about it. Yeah. So what I little the little I know about Trinidad and Tobago mm -hmm. is that it's a dual island Caribbean nation near the Venezuela with distinctive Creole traditions and yeah. cuisines. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But they uh, are talking about cuisines. <sighs> yeah. They do cook pilau, which is a very common uh, cuisine in yeah. Kenya. Yeah. True. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And its capital is Port of Spain, which hosts a bestious carnival featuring calypso and soccer music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with some numerous bird species. Yeah. What uh, those birds, what we in Kenya we call them flamingo. Flamingos. Flamingo in yeah, uh, Lake Nakuru. And I yeah. don't know why is it that uh, it's only Nakuru, Naku, Lake Nakuru, uh, we have flamingos. I don't, I don't know the reason. Maybe because of the natural weather conditions, because oh, you cannot the find salt the, lake. Yeah, maybe mm -hmm. such of there's some unique minerals that are found there, mm -hmm. which they are being attracted to, mm -hmm. and they are not found anywhere else. Oh, yeah, amazing. Thank you. So Trinidad and Tobago has some numerous bird species, mm -hmm. yeah, that inhabit sanctuaries such as Asarite Nature Center, mm -hmm. and the smaller island also mm -hmm. is also known for its beaches, mm -hmm. and the Tobago Main Bridge Reserve, mm -hmm. which shelters hummingbirds. Which are the hummingbirds, by the way? Hummingbirds are those smaller the birds with long beaks, you oh, see. Oh. The smallest of all birds. Yeah, one long of the beaks. smallest bird species mm -hmm. yeah, in the world, but it has some long beaks. I, I think I need to research more about yeah, it. Yeah. Uh, unlike most Caribbean nations mm -hmm. and the territories, mm -hmm. uh, Trinidad and Tobago rely heavily on tourism mm -hmm. and the economy is primarily industrial mm -hmm. with an emphasis on petroleum and petrochemicals. Yeah, yeah they yeah. produce petroleum and gas. Yeah, that yeah, is sure, it. Sure. That is it. Sure. It's one yeah. of the richest countries by the way we have in the world. Yeah. Yeah. And much of the nation's wealth is derived from a large resource of oil and natural gas, yeah? So it's also well known for its African and Indian culture. And yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Trinidad is a mixture of um, the blacks and the Indians. These are the people who have been living together. They have even gone ahead to establish a, uh, a festival which they celebrate together. I don't know the name of the festival, but um, 
I'll be researching about it then maybe doing a different video about about the same. Famous festival include the carnival, the Diwali and horses celebrations yeah. as well as being the birthplace of steel plan. Mm -hmm. the limbo and the music styles mm -hmm. such as calypso and soccer i think you are well yeah yeah, yeah yeah i'm a very big fan of the soccer music Trinidad is about to host one one of the biggest celebrations you know uh they call it the what the, this celebration coming coming up in july the diwali celebration no not diwali not diwali it's um hmm. Emancipation, Emancipation Festival. Festival yeah. yeah. Um and as the festival which is expected to take uh, to take place from early July yes. to first of October. Yes. <laughs> and I get these people party a lot because uh, uh in February they celebrated um uh the carnival, which is they celebrate for a whole month. That's when I got to learn about uh Trinidad and Tobago. I used to hear about Trinidad and Tobago through music through reggae music mm -hmm. but i've never i've never known whether it was a country until african tigris visited uh, trinidad so big up african tigris so she influenced me influenced me a lot in learning about the country and i'm happy since i started doing content about uh, trinidad and tobago my channel got to grow so many of my followers are from trinidad <laughs> yeah i have I'm very sure if I go to the port of Spain today, people would, like, would identify me. Yeah, I must have some fans in, the, in, in the capital city of that country. The little idea about the Emancipation Day, mm -hmm. it marks the commemoration of liberation from chattel slavery. Yeah, oh, slavery! It, it's an slavery. Yeah, it's they an celebrate. Slavery celebration, uh, yeah. It's like independence. Yeah, to commemorate how what they pass through that life of oh, slavery oh oh yeah. it's this it's a festival whereby they wear these traditional dresses and something like yeah they that. usually wear some yeah. unique they dresses have, to the african dresses yes with the ethnic garments mm -hmm. like drumming mm -hmm. concerts mm -hmm. film mm -hmm. events and mm -hmm. educational I seminars where participants mm -hmm. can experience an educational spiritual mm -hmm. cultural connection with african ancestors of Trinidad and Tobago you get you get mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. yeah through that mm -hmm. uh, through that celebration wow it's yeah. like it's like you are in com uh, communication with your ancestors so it's um it's an opportunity for them to in Africa we do poor po liquor the traditional liquor is a way of uh, united uh, uniting the current generation with our ancestors so these people go to the streets and celebrate on their behalf so this this is an event which has been uh, happening for decades uh, so as a new generation j just the same way it's happening in kenya lately the gen z's the generation z yeah they out there uh demonstrating and fighting for their rights um the way the former prime minister has been doing it so they are like oh we have we have learned uh, we, we, we have learned how you do it and um uh, it's our time now to take over from you so just relax in your house and watch everything happen. <laughs> but then what's your opinion about um, Kenyan Gen Z's uh, uh, going to the streets and fighting for their rights? Okay. Much of the time maybe they have been their parents have been fighting on their behalf. Yeah, yeah. But as the economy is changing, yeah. I think most of the youths are now, they have to hustle for their for their daily uh -huh. living. Uh -huh. Now the hustle, mm -hmm. it reaches a point where now it pinches them. Mm -hmm. The economy pinches them mm -hmm. right from their pockets. And now as it pinches them, mm -hmm. they cannot sustain it anymore. Mm -hmm. So they, they, they had to, to, to wake up and speak for themselves other than waiting for their oh. parents or their seniors or to their senior politicians to do, to do it for them. Yeah, I did a video about, uh, about how the things I miss doing as a kid and one of those things was uh what i mean about being a kid from parent, my our parents would go there uh make money on our behalf feed us we don't have to pay bills so did the same thing happening in the streets so, so the gen z gen z of kenya have taken uh, the mantle to fight for their own rights don't wait for your parent don't wait for anyone else don't wait for your neighbor yeah you there for yourself. 
and you know we all we grew up being told that um, we are the leaders of tomorrow so the tomorrow is today <laughs> Thank yeah. you. So, so we need to discuss more about the emancipation. The emancipation, as I maybe conclude, yeah. this month long heritage festival, it mm -hmm. culminates around the August, mm -hmm. first of August maybe, yeah, with yeah. the phenom phenom how do you call it? Mm -hmm. uh, phen phenomenal street parade where oh, community yeah, groups yeah, join yeah. in a procession. Mm -hmm. which takes them from the Treasury Building, Independence Square, mm -hmm. that is the site of the first proclamation of the Emancipation, mm -hmm. which was read in 1834 Amazing. Uh, to the Emancipation Village. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, unlike what you guys are being um, watching from other negative creators, there is that one person who would go to the streets of Tobago, the down streets of Tobago, and doing negative content about that beautiful country. Tobago is a good place. Tobago is a good place, and I'm sure, and I'm sure uh, it's not, about, not all about the negativity. So I've seen someone say that uh, uh, these content creators who are doing negative videos about Trinidad and Tobago, TNT, they have been paying the characters to portray uh, TNT as a bad place. I am Trinidad to the bone, I know that. So whenever I praise Tobago, Tobago too much, you guys remind me that uh, I need to be a bit neutral, but I'm saying the truth. We have some of the best beaches in that country. So though I'm forgetting their name, I still uh, go ahead and research more about it. We have um, best musicians, yeah, in this world, coming from Trinidad and Tobago, the likes of Nicki Minaj, the likes of Calypso Ross, the likes of uh, Trinidad James. We have um, a former Manchester United play player, uh, right, somebody. The guy retired. So this guy has been have been from uh, Trinidad and Tobago. So Trinidad is a big place. It's a big country, beautiful country, and a rich country. Kindly, I I need to end this video here. I don't even have the energy to uh, to keep on talking about this uh, beautiful country. Yeah. Meanwhile, whoever watches uh, African Tigress. Tell, 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 tell her she did a good job. Tell her we appreciate for making us learn about this beautiful country. Yeah? Yeah? Meanwhile, uh, we, we, are, we are still in Kenya and thinking whether to travel to Trinidad or not. But um, we might miss the Emancipation Festival. But come next year, the carnival, we might be in for the carnival. Have a good bye. Goodbye. Bye. You are hey, 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 hey. Yeah. Like the video, comment and subscribe.